Let's see. Da, da, da. So up next is Advance Wars 2 Black Hole Rising. I have not played this game, so. Oh, it is as good as the first. Blue Moon. Yellow Comet. Green Earth. I don't know who this dude is. Andy. Sammy Zayn. Max. Flack. Uh, oh, jeez, I didn't get to read all those. Advance Wars 2. Alright. Hell yeah. Battle maps. What the hell is a warm room? Let's see. Oh. Battle the computer and save your score. Let's do a war room. Let's just do that. All right. Let's go to. Uh, let's go here. Who am I gonna play? Let's see. I got Andy. I got Max. Sammy. Oh, I got. I'm stuck with these guys. Oh well. Flash, Lax, Hawks, Zack Ryder, or Matt Cordona. I mean. All right. What am I supposed to do? Oh. oh shit. I really fucked up here. Alright. Let's get some let's get let's get a mech. Let's get an infantry. Let's get a let's let's get a let's get a recon. Let's get a uh Aw oh, man. Let's get an infantry. Alright. Looks good to me. Oh no! Oh boy. They're causing all sorts of trouble. Alright. Capture. Oh, let's get some, let's get some artillery. Uh, yeah, we're good. Uh-oh. Let's go. <laughs> Blow them all away. Let's get another APC. Oh, we're good. I might be doing bad.
No! Oh boy. <laughs> well, they're dead. Well, that's Advance Wars 2. I think we kind of get the gist of it pretty good. I'll probably sit there all night if I don't. Don't move on. That's game number 14. Ah, shoot. The wrong song. Let's see. Advance Wars 2. This gets four and a half stars. And uh, you can buy it for $45. Uh, let's see. Probably the best tactical turn-based strategy games. The game is great, great, but I got a cartridge with everything, all, if everything already unlocked. Oh, that's not bad. Um, this is a great strategy game. Perhaps the greatest ever for GBA. An honest description and a working product. Lovely classic game. Five stars. A lot of people generally like it. Let's see. Damaged goods. Arrived quickly but sold in very poor condition. Tape and sticky residue all over the cartridge. Game will not save. Starts new every time loaded. Requesting a refund. Plastic creaks have it's broken inside. I don't know, it seems like everyone, uh, everyone liked it, liked it for the most part. And I'm tripping over myself. Alright, let's see. So that's Advanced Wars 2. Up next is Adventures of Tokyo Disney Sea. What the heck is this? This only came out in Japan, so. Let's see what this is. Konami? What in the fuck? Ugh. Adve Adventure of Tokyo Disney Sea. Alright. Um. The hell was this? Ah! <laughs> what the hell? Hi, Karumba. <laughs> we. Uh, I think this might be a blow up. I'm thinking it's a blow up. All right, let's move on. Let's <laughs> let's move on. Oh my god, you need, you, all right. So I'm gonna end this on three more games and there's a reason it's gonna be three more games. <sighs> cause first, cause we have three Jimmy Neutron games. So first up is Jimmy Neutron versus Jimmy Negatron. So we'll, we'll, end, we'll end it on this critical award winning uh, trilogy, <laughs> which I know nothing about. Ooh, ooh, ooh. My name's Jimmy Neutron. I'm a ri- oh. Uh, hello! My name is- <laughs> He's Jimmy Neutron. Welcome to my laboratory. Where's Goddard? Oh, okay. Well, never mind then. It's a good day in Retroville. 
However, there are strange things happening nearby and I have to find out what is going on. If I run into anybody, I will ask him what is going on. What? Oh my god. Whoa, oh my. What is with this? Okay. This is what the control scheme is like. You push left or right on the D-pad, it does this. You push up. Oh my god. This is like art. This is like tank controls. What? Oh god. Come on. Oh. Oh, this is horrendous. I mean, I don't know about beautiful. I mean, it looks good. Hey, beautiful is too strong of a word, man. <laughs> I mean, come on. Look, look, look at look at G Jimmy here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jimmy. Do you know why Cindy is asleep? I was unable. What are you What are you doing trying to wake Cindy up, dude? Why Why is Jimmy waving at me? He's supposed to. Cindy's dream. <laughs> Using the dream connection is... Uh... What? Let's go into the bad dream. Oh, when I think of a bad dream, I think of pumpkins. What in the fuck is this? Uh, this is must, what hell must be like, dude. <laughs> ah! Okay. Damn it. Mm, poor Goddard. He doesn't deserve this. Why is he whimpering? Oh, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> I don't know how to open the presents. <laughs> I'm, I, I, I don't know, like, there's something I'm supposed to do. I'm, I'm definitely lost here. Shit. Ah! Damn, how do I get past this stupid tank? Oh, I had him. Oh my god. I hate this. Oh my god. <laughs> Avoid whatever this thing is. I'm not feeling <laughs> You might like looking at it. I don't like playing it. That's what the hell is this? Oh my god. Oh, this bear's trying to kill I'm out of here. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll get a kick out of <laughs> Oh my god, these con Oh god, I can't tell you how bad these controls are, dude. Th this is like... This is like RC controls for, like, idiots. <laughs> I hit an owl. I hate this. Alright. Oh my god, that's J that's Jimmy Neutron. Whatever, it's a it's it's a Jimmy Neutron game. It's a terrible 3D Jimmy Neutron game. Like Jimmy Neutron would say, "Got a blast!" As this is thrown into the garbage. All right. All right. So what'd you choose? You chose Pro Zone. Let's see. Pro Zone. There we go. All right. Let's see, let's see what the critics have got to say about, uh... 
this one. Jimmy Neutron versus, there we go. Game Boy Advance. Uh, uh, reviews. <laughs> Let's see. Planet Game Boy from Denmark gave it a 667 out of 100. <laughs> Excuse me. Game Zone gives it a 6.5. Although not a bad game, neither is it a particularly good game. Definitely not. Experienced gamers will be bored and young players will be frustrated. IGN gave it a 6. But in all honesty, the horrible design issues can be somewhat overlooked if you absolutely had to play the game. And if you can withstand a, a whole bunch of annoying enemy collisions during the game. It isn't terrible. In fact, the originality and design is enough to give this game a look. Just be sure to keep your mind that it is awkwardly flawed. Awkwardly flawed in its uniqueness. Okay, dude. And then, and then a German site called 64 Power gave it 2.6 out of 10. So they didn't like it. Uh, all right, lame facts. Let's see what the what the nerds have got to say. Let's see. This came out on Game Boy Advance and PC. Okay. I hope it was better on PC. <laughs> there is only one post on this board. Megatron must be stopped. Posted on 2011. No matter the cost. History always favors the victor at the expense of the truth. What an idiot. All right. We're moving on. I bet he thought he was real deep when he had that signature. All right. So we got two more two more games we'll do tonight. Two more Jimmy Neutron games. I hope there's no more after this. All right. Next up is Advance uh, Attack of the Twonkies. It's more like Attack of the Twinks. Uh. All right. T THQ with another banger. <laughs> it's Jimmy Neutron, Tank of the Twonkies. Welcome, Jimmy. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> keep the hits on. All right, let's see. Oh, ah! Jeez. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to scream. That just scared the shit out of me. <laughs> there it is, Carl. It sure is, Jimmy. It sure is what it is. Twonkus 3, Carl, a huge comet that only crosses Earth, Earth's orbit once every 365 days. I mean, once a year, that's not bad. Like, at least it's not like every 400 years. Wow, that's a long time, Jimmy. That's almost um, four and carry to three. It's a year, Carl. Got it. You're so smart, Jimmy. Well, Carl, I better collect everything I'll need for my trip to Twonkus 3. Like what, Jimmy? A neutronium for a start. I knew I left some lying around, and I should put t together some kind of safety gear. Like a giant hairy suit made from... I'm done. <laughs> like... And by the way, this, this has lag. <laughs> this has... This game... <laughs> Jimmy, what are you doing up here? <sighs> if you love video games, you won't like this game. There we go, there's the run. AK Price, how's it going? I'm finishing tonight off with two Jimmy Neutron games because I, because society has decided to punish me for my sins. Why does he have the period? Whatever. <laughs> uh, 
I, for, I forgot there was a Gumby game. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, so what I do during these is I play at least five minutes of every game in alphabetical order. So I'll begin to that at some point. <laughs> I've already, I've already had some, uh, not good ones tonight. <laughs> I had Advance Wars, but then I had this right after. Oh my god, what's Sheen doing here? <laughs> what's he doing hanging out in my garage? Alright. Yeah, whatever. Alright. Yeah! All right. How, how, how did I make that noise? Oh, okay. Oh, I see. It's me, Jimmy Neutron, star of the hit show SpongeBob SquarePants. Hi, right, Karamba. <sighs> All right, well that's J Jimmy Neutron. I mean, it was better than the last one, but you know, still, still, Jimmy, Jimmy, you've got to do a little better. If you're gonna be making these games, you, you gotta be. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Uh, all right. Let's go. Let's see what the zone's got to say. Let's see. Attack of the Twonkies. They don't seem to have it up here. Oh, they do. All right, this gets five stars. You can buy it for six dollars. Uh, very nice and well working. Reminds me of the show. Better than Exoted. Was in good condition. Four stars. Fun game. Used to love this as a little kid. Okay. Oh, that's good. Oh no. I I I don't want to see I don't want to see Jimmy Neutron on Twitter. He's a uh... Uh, so was it? All right, we got we got one more for tonight. We got Jet Fusion. All right. <laughs> oh no. I'm turning this down a bit. All right. Ah! Now, class, today is book report day. Each of you have a chance to blah, 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 blah. Arr! Well, why is she, why is she saying, why is she saying, why is she saying, why is she saying, <laughs> Arr! Jimmy, it's your turn to read your book report. Read, I'm gonna present my book report. The Virtual World Re Reproduction Machine. All I need to do is place my favorite Jet Fusion book in the slot like slow. <laughs> oh no, it's not the way, oh no. <laughs> All right. Where are we, Goddard? Bark. I think the town was transformed into my Jet Fusion novel. This means we're in the Village of Sage, Ultra Ninja. Oh no. And his minions are taking control. 
The whole village. Where's everyone gone? Hey kid, who are you? I'm Jimmy Neutron and you're Jet Fusion. Why does this guy look like Fred Flintstone? <laughs> yeah, yeah, tell me Jimmy, are you the only one in the area? My dog Goddard is with me. I guess it's up to you and me to find him. I'm looking for a mad scientist who's trying to destroy the Earth. Oh. Professor Cal Calam Calamitous. Suspicious. Well, there's already controls better than the the other two, so. Got him. I'm Jimmy Neutron, murderer. Kick ass. Look, Goddard, I found a can of refreshing purple flutter soda. I don't think soda is supposed to make you feel. Oh well. <laughs> like, who cares? <laughs> like. Purple Flurp. I wake up in the morning and I'm like, I could use some Purple Flurp. Shit. I'm avoiding these dudes. Shit. I need more Purple Flurp. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm terrible. I mean, I kind of deserve that. Oh no! Damn it. There were just so many enemies. <laughs> this game for two-year-olds is too hard for me. <laughs> Lufa, you've been saying that for every Jimmy Neutron game. <laughs> wait, wait till I show you an Atari game one of these days. You'll, you'll be... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Give me some of that purple floor. And done. All right. Well, that's Jimmy Neutron Jet Fusion. Ugh. All right. It's game number 17, and, uh... So far, the last of the Jimmy Neutron games. I hope there's not any more of that. Ugh. Gross. All right. Let's see. Jimmy Neutron. Oh, no! All right. I'll, I'll check that after this. Let's see. Jimmy Neutron Jet Fusion. Let's see. Let's see. This is four stars. You can buy it for $4.99. Uh, how exciting! I just wish they could add a little more. When I bought this game from overseas, I enjoyed it so much that I would like to do it again. I even had a chance to help Jimmy Neutron. Well, he's busy turning his best friends back to normal to defeat his worst enemies ever. The madman called Professor Calamitous. The only question which bothers me about the game are, why didn't there appear any story pictures? According to the story, at the end of every world which I completed, the only place where story pictures appeared was when Jimmy introduced the virtual world reproduction machine. How did he appear on the island, the Retroville Bay, and the space station? Was he teleported to them by a teleporter? Or did he jump out of an aeroplane while using his ro robotic dog's parachute ability? What did Professor Calamitous' space station look like from the outside? 
and what was his plan to destroy Earth? I wish I could add another minigame to the game. This time I had to stop Calamity's plan to destroy Earth, wouldn't it be fun? I don't know why they didn't add any more stuff to this game, but I still say it is the best Jimmy Neutron spy game I've ever played. <laughs> Two people found this helpful. Uh, could be better. I think that they should give you the option to save your game. Uh, I'm a fan of the TV series, and this doesn't have much to do with the actual Jet Fusion episode. I like playing it, though, when I'm too bored to think of anything else to do. It gets old after a while. Five stars, great. Big Head Boy makes a great game. I am still on level one. It gives me a headache because it is hard. I like the begin. <laughs> it's lots of fun. <laughs> that is all I have to say so bye. <laughs> Jet Fusion, I bought this several years ago for my nephew and he has worn it out worn it about out but has played and played and played it to the extent on it should have been gone a long time ago he loved it and still has it thank you for such great games for kids hi caramba <laughs> all right 